All right, we good? All right, hold on. Okay, hello everyone, and welcome back to a new video. We are here in Quabbin. I'm not gonna tell you where, it's a little secret, but we are trying to get that tunnel filled with smoke, and I'm wearing like a business attire to see what happens. I'm more of like a practice photo shoot. You can see over there that little smoke machine. I've seen people on YouTube use it before, so I'm trying it out to see how it goes. I've used it a few times before, but it's been a while. So uh, let's see how this goes. So I have my 35 to 105 millimeter lens today. And we're just, Eli's gonna be my photographer today. I'm gonna be the test subject. He's gonna try to stand on this rock. All right, cause that looks like a cool background. You know, I got like the little birds at top. I got the, 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 the water flowing. I guess I got the water flowing or whatever. And uh, it's not that bad for, uh, especially with the sun, not that bad of a day. If it was like nighttime, oh. Dude, this photo shoot would be spooky. <laughs> right. So you can put down my camera wherever, but. If you like found footage files, like, <laughs> like flat out. But I got the idea for the smoke machine on YouTube. Yep. It's crazy. So, so right now we're trying to get the smoke machine to start. It's got propane. It's fueled by propane and mineral oil. So not hurting the environment. It's not that I know of. <laughs> so isn't propane a fossil fuel that hurts the environment? Hey, buddy. We're, we're uh, all right. This is actually a bug defogger I got from a tractor supply for seventy dollars. It's a really good budget. Like, if you really want to get like a background kind of foggy, I actually recommend this because it does a really good job. It's like the cheapest, easiest way to get a background going like with smoke, but don't have it like a really hot day because then that's, if, if something were happening, usually I bring a fire extinguisher. Tony, what are you doing? This is the toughest thing about being a photographer. The way the, the, way the wind was going, I'm gonna try to get the smoke machine to blow the smoke through the tunnel rather than after it, because that would just look stupid. But, uh, Sometimes your life is worth the risk of a shot being really good. So. <laughs> we can go on the other side. All right. You got a good spot? It's kind of working. This is tough, dude. There we go. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. That's your thing. Got the bottle now. All right, so we got some good videos for today, or photos. Now we're gonna go hang out with Caleb's party. I don't know if we might get footage of that. And later on, what the heck are we doing? I don't know, maybe Turner's? Yeah, maybe. Greenfield. Greenfield yeah, Turner's? Shoot. We're gonna do another photo shoot. Photo shoot practice days, you know? I have to run through brushes again to get it. <laughs> Whatever, gotta do it for the gram, bro. Do it for the gram. Yup. It's like a flamethrower. Yeah. It was funny. Really? So have your camera up here. Have your camera up here. Go get down, get down. We are here. We are here at Caleb's right now. Okay. And he's not here, so we're uh, gonna chill until he gets here. But we don't want it to be like sketchy. Well, this isn't sketchy at all, right? <laughs> <laughs> On this episode of Taken. This is definitely sketchy. No, just zoom into the party. Zoom into the party. Like, probably <laughs> fairly. So awkward. No, just do it. <laughs> Okay. Oh, uh, but I don't want to like roll up. That little girl is definitely just staring. You're just like, I don't fuck do it. I don't want to roll up and be like, 
you know, kind of awkward because he'll be here in a few minutes. He told us to yeah. sit tight, so yeah. that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put my photos from earlier into my phone, and then that's what I'll just do. I'll lay low like this, you know, whatever. You good? All right, all right. So we just left Caleb's party. It was like a family party, so it was kind of weird at first. But you know, Caleb got back and uh, we had a little fun. No, I'm just kidding. We had some. I did. I had my Corona like strapped to my chest, and uh, we didn't even drink it. So it's in my back seat now. We're gonna drink it later. So now we're gonna go. I'm gonna go. We're gonna McDonald's because I have to use the bathroom, and I'm hungry, but I don't want to get their food. So I'm not gonna go back to my house, get some stuff, and we're going to Eli's house. So let's get it. As the kids would say. <laughs> so in Ethel, Massachusetts, we don't get a lot of good cars, right? But guess what we just found? Some some clickbait. Damn, bro! Let's see the camera. Let's see the camera. Let's see the camera. Dude, that's sick. Oh, not being Ethel. I know, right? <laughs> What the fuck? But like, people, nobody, people in YouTube videos. <laughs> Thumbnail. <laughs> oh my god, we saw this in Athol, Massachusetts. Right. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> so, we're we just went to McDonald's because we're just editing photos, right? Photographer life, right? Find your local coffee place, fast food place, watering place to go. Just edit your photos because. Stay at home sucks, right? We're gonna go to Greenfield. We're gonna go to Eli's, Eli's house. And then we're gonna go to Greenfield and take some silhouettes. I gotta get my lights. We're gonna use this camera and we're gonna see what we can do. Oh, it's turning. All right, you, you hold this, hold this. Wait, hold what? This? Roll it, all right, roll it. All right, all right. What's going on, everybody? We're back. We are here at Eli's apartment in Turner's Falls, and we're about to go do a photo shoot, and then go maybe to the hangar, and then a, a pub, bar, dance suit. What's it called? A club. A club, yeah, a club. Yeah, right. so I got my light for silhouette photo shoots. It's a spooky story. I actually forgot my kit, so there's an orange cap to this, where it turns the light like a, less, a lot less brighter. So, I kind of wish I brought that. He said, what are you talking about? <laughs> Me and Eli are lumberjacks today, tonight, because it's a Halloween party thing. But, um, yeah, because we forgot to get our costumes. Why does you Walmart suggested it. You were like, let's get was, costumes. Was it yesterday? Yeah, I said that. But Walmart has clapped costumes in. No, not yesterday. Oh, God. <laughs> Hold on. There we go. Okay. I need keys in <laughs> Nobody, everybody in indie movies. I'm so fucking scared. <laughs> Wait, do we need light anything? up half the neighborhood on this thing. <laughs> Is Lynn here? Okay, I'm very scared. Dude, break your backyard. What are you doing? Just mow it. Even yeah, dude, that's it. what I do. You don't... You don't mow or yeah, rake it first. Bad, this is the start to a bad indie horror movie. Like on Netflix. Put it on your face. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> Just start running down the road. Honestly. Okay. All right, this feels better. Uh, where are we going anyways? Because I have no idea. Uh, the center of Greenfield. The center of Greenfield. Oh, well, yeah, the photo shoot. I'm gonna do some silhouettes, it's gonna be dope. This thing's a standard. Shake it. Shake it? Yeah, shake it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, back to my blogging self. This feels good, I'm not gonna lie. Being filmed all day, it's just kinda awkward. But we here in the beautiful, amazing, interesting downtown Greenfield. Eli, how do you, how do you feel? Dude. Good. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like the colors in this camera. You can really pick up the reds and the, the yellows. Yeah. The reds and the yellows. Pretty good. Yeah. Is this where the spot is? Yeah, this is the spot. All right. So how are we gonna do this? Well, we can just start taking photos. All right, let's send it. All right, some interesting photos. Not good, not bad, but the biggest part about photography is learning. 
As you can hear, we have the train above us. I don't know if you can hear it, probably. But we are headed out now to either the hangar or the club. We're gonna find out. I'm a little hungry, but we're standing. I feel like I'm in Compton right now. <laughs> I feel like I'm in the hood. I'm set. I told you this is a good place. It was. It's like an urban environment, but it's not that big of a city. I feel like I, I, I could At get all. mugged here. I'm not gonna lie. Oh no, the quality's changed. The True Tony's back on that iPhone grind. Oh no. Yeah, we're leaving the camera in the car so we don't kill the battery and kill the night. So we're going to hang right now. I'm going to get some good dank wings. Dank. Wait, Eli, what are you getting tonight? I'm going to get the mess. The mess. Some bomb ass TV fries. Wow. So we are finally here and we got the menu and stuff. Uh, getting ready to order. We, uh, me and Eli are matching. We are not a couple. So... <laughs> Yeah, I guess it probably looks kind of weird. That no, we're it looks kind of weird because me and him are like dressing together. It's like, and then it, it, it it's just like, yeah, I do. I have like, we both have black pants on, so it's like, yikes. Dude, how cute. This is the light of the wildlife of Green, Greenfield, Mass. Go. Okay, so we're going to Turner's right now. We're going to the, the club. Where am I, dude? The hood? But yeah, so we're going there right now. No, because nobody would just give away a gun. Oh. He, you go ahead. He had to, he had to get a six dollar minimum on his car, so we got two drinks. I'm driving. I got a water because my throat is destroyed. But it's not bad. It's like a lot of music, and it's pretty cool. Put some respect on that. All right, so I stepped into the bathroom, uh, so I had to go. But uh, as I was walking in, a couple was walking out, and it was like super weird. But I don't want to like film it because like, I feel like that's kind of weird. I might get a few shots, I don't know. But uh, it's, it's pretty cool, so I mean, like, I already have one Corona, it's whatever. Respect it. Okay, so, so I had a Corona and a water door, I'm driving, so. There's a chick there, she's from Rolston, either got her number, so respect it. I don't know, should I add that? Should I add that? Probably not. Oh, whatever. whatever. So Eli lives right on the street. I'm just gonna drive there and then I'm good, good to go. Yeah. Man's gonna slam his. What time is it even? 12:11. 12:11. Oh, less than an hour. Fuck. <laughs> well, uh, I guess we're gonna end it for tonight. Uh, but tomorrow we're going to the Keen Pumpkin Fest and then some try and find more numbers. <laughs> more numbers tomorrow. Just so uh, yeah, let's see what how that see. goes.